by their teammate. I want to give them the courage to fight. I want, I want them to know that there are people in this corner and that there are people praying for him, and they're just going to be all right. When you come through this room, you definitely feel something's off. And I think we all are on the same page. We, we can't wait till he's better and he's healthy. Um, and can't wait till he's able to come back and join us again. Wrestlers and coaches from across the district have also begun shaving their heads in support of Nicholas. Amber Frias, 17 News. And Tabitha just relayed to us that North High wrestlers have also shaved their heads in solidarity. Just a beautiful story of teammates there. 522 now. A new sport has been added to local high schools for the first time in years. Students can now compete in water polo. Kern High School District trustees adopted the plan yesterday. This comes as a new aquatic sports complex in the district is set to open next month. I think the importance of adding another sport to the Kern High School District is paramount to keep our students plugged into school. Um, there, it's shown that students that are involved in school do better. And I'm really excited and happy that our board saw that. Water polo will be offered starting the fall of the new school year. Pretty neat. Really cool. Well, another school is adding something new for its students. Garces Memorial High School will now have a competitive dance team. The school currently has an advanced dance course, but at the start of the spring semester, those students will all join the newly formed dance team. It's pretty neat. It's always neat to see all of these new activities and sports that are coming uh, for these students because, of course, not only is it fun, but it really does um, you know, improve their educational experience. Not only does it give them the reason to want to, you know, do better so they can participate in these things, but I mean, just that physical activity and, and learning from being on a team, those yeah. things are so valuable. Yeah, it's a lot of fun too. All right, 524 now. Want to spin your way to a healthier you? Where you can go for a fun new workout here in town. KGET Business Watch is brought to you by Grapevine MSP Technology Services, the Valley's leading IT service provider. Welcome back. We're taking you to Las Vegas, where the world's biggest tech showcase is kicking off. The Consumer Electronics Show isn't open to the public, but NBC's Liz McLaughlin is there to give us a sneak peek. And then I can look around. The future of technology is rolling into the Consumer Electronics Show, where companies from around the world are showing off the latest and greatest gadgets, from adorable robots. And so making them cute makes you more willing to want to bring them into your homes. To next-gen wireless charging. Um, you really just drop a phone on, it starts working instantly. Devices to help you cook like a chef, draw like an artist, or simply let the dog out. And it's not just traditional tech companies at CES. Sheertex, which made a splash last year with its indestructible pantyhose, is now stepping into the shoe game. So we use one of the strongest fibers in the world in both the shoe and the pantyhose. You're going to turn slightly to the left. Neutrogena is debuting an app that analyzes your skin. And Pampers is unveiling a diaper sensor. It seems nothing is too personal for tech. So all of the baby diapers, like, automatically populated. Kohler's connected toilet has built-in Alexa and gesture controls. You can use my foot. And open that. There's even a smart litter box. Alexa, ask Lulu Pets, how's my cat? With facial and, well, other recognition technology. At the end of the day, it's about getting consumers to buy into these devices. There's certainly something made for everyone, but the jury's still out on which products everyone will actually want to buy. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. I always wanted to go to that. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Well, looking for somewhere new to work out? Well, now you have the chance to go to Rush Cycle Spin Studio. This is video from the soft opening class yesterday. Rush Cycle is an indoor cycling studio that is effective, fun, and challenging. It is located at 2765 Callaway Drive, Suite 104. That's near Studio Movie Grill.